Hey guys, I hope you are all having a great day. It is Tuesday. Tuesday. Nice. Anyways, we're over here at our local Advanced Auto Parts. We're here to pick up an OBD scanner. We got some friends that are having some car trouble and I need a way to communicate with the car. I sold my last scan tool and uh, yeah, so I need something small, something that's not super expensive but will allow me to do the basic things that's necessary when diagnosing and repairing cars that have issues. So we're gonna head into this place, we're gonna see what they got. Hopefully we walk out with something so we can get our day going, go take a look at this Jeep, figure it out what's wrong with it, and then see where the day takes us. So fun, fun, fun. We'll catch you guys in a few minutes. Okay, so Drew had called in advance to the auto parts store to get a price on the scan tool, and the guy said 50 bucks. So when we get there and we're ready to buy it, it's 99 bucks. Needless to say, he made right and was able to get us a coupon code to use to make up the difference in price. Mostly, Mostly but we ended up having to jump through all sorts of hoops to get this discount and we had to fill this out and then fill that out and then pay online and pick it up at the store and all this stuff so ultimately in the process of picking something up for not even the price that we were originally quoted that then made us late to pick up the kids from camp which god forbid anyone has to work a all right so hang on let's look at this with a positive view so, we pay all this money for our kids to go to these programs, and these programs I feel are important to my family because we want our kids to go to places that have two main things. A, they're going to care about the children, and B, Jesus is not a dirty word. You know, those are like the two most important things. So based on word of mouth and other people's experiences, we have chose certain programs for our kids because of the track record that they have had. Well, fast forward now to the situation that we just had and the way they handled it was everything but the way I would expect. So where do we go from here? You know, like this lady came out with my son and Drew got out of the truck to get Matthew. And while my kid was still standing there, this lady begins to scold my wife about being late. Well, here, here's the big thing, you know? We were only 12 minutes late. It's not like we were an hour late or two hours late. We were 12 minutes late. Not long enough to justify the way this lady decided to talk to my wife. Now, not only is this person not just an employee, but She's the director. The director. Okay, so we send our kids to a church-based program, summer program. This is also the same school that my son Matthew is enrolled in for a full-time pre-K next year. Right, so 12 minutes late, we're picking our kid up. Very apologetic. This lady's just downright nasty. And Drew just kind of stands there and takes it. She gets in the truck after she gets Matthew in. And we were just both like, mind blown. Can't believe that this just went down the way it went down. Especially like in a church setting. People need to not only preach the gospel, but live it too. This is the problem that we've been finding with a lot of these programs, and it's so, so sad. It breaks my heart that it's come down to this. But we're starting to see that all these church-based programs are just, I feel like they're just hiring people for the sake of filling the position, but the people that they're hiring do not have their hearts in the game. 
I think that's the best way to sum it up. The way this lady acted is against everything that the Bible says. You know, in the book of James, we're told we should be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger. You know, just this lady did everything but that. She was quick to cut Drew off in conversation. She was quick to anger and pour out her wrath. But meanwhile, she's the director of a program based out of a church. You know, maybe, just maybe, this isn't the right job for her, you know? And, and that happens to all of us. A lot of times we take on positions that we might not truly have our hearts in the game. But when it comes to the youth, and when you read the Bible and everywhere stresses how important our children are and how to properly raise them, and then stuff like this happens, it's sad to see the director of the program not even living a life trying to do right by God. Breaks my heart. Absolutely breaks my heart. So, yeah, we really don't know how to handle this situation now. It's kind of like put us in a really bad place. Like I said, we have prepaid for next year, and I'm starting to have my doubts of sending my child back there. You know, if this is the way the director treats paying parents, I really question how they treat the kids if they do something wrong. You know, it's the top of the ladder has to put their best foot forward all the time because they are on top. You can't lead a good group and not be a good leader. And that's what really makes me question it all. There's a lesson for all of us to learn from this and that's, you know, love on people, don't hate, don't hate. All this hate that's been going around is the cause of all the bad things that have been going on in this world. And if people were to take the energy that they use negatively and use it in a positive way, literally, this planet would be a different place. We wouldn't have the issues we're faced with today. But it's not that way. So I'm hoping that by making this video, I might just resonate to even just one person. If one person watches this and gains something from it, I'm happy. That's my goal. You know, I'm not here to continue complaining about the situation. I'm here to help people learn how to apply love in their lives to avoid this from happening in different scenarios respect and love those two things if everyone treated everyone they run into with respect and love this world would not be the way it is today two simple concepts two simple things but instead we let the world get the better of us and we let our tempers flare and it just makes things worse. Everything snowballs. So, that's it, man. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Love your neighbor like you love yourself. Be careful with what comes out of your mouth. You know, words sting. Words sting really bad. And words could kill. And that's not cool, you know? Think about it before you let it out. That's why I stopped this video and came to this. I would much rather have the time to think about it than just hastily jump into something that wasn't from my heart. So, thanks for sitting through it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to leave us a comment down below. If you've had any similar situations, Share it with us. We'd love to hear it. If you like these videos, please, 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 please hit that subscribe button. Keep up to date with what we're doing over here at the Gons Fam. 
Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.